Willie Simmons, Deion Sanders. This is not the uh, segment where I address my critics, but I know uh, without reading, I'm sharp enough to know what some of my critics probably have said. They probably have said, why aren't you criticizing Willie Simmons like you did Deion Sanders? That's easy. That shit ain't the same. I'm about to explain why. I'm about to explain why. It's quite easy to explain why as well. Okay? But before I do, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am your homeboy first, and this is the realest, most entertaining show in the game. Put it on so. Again, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that share button, put all your people on it. Also, make sure you fuck with our sponsor, the King Mac Neal Collection. That is the King Mac Neal Collection for all of your needs in terms of gear for uh, your fraternity or sorority, whatever it might be, okay? If they're one of the divine nine, my brother got some for you, okay? Go to the king, uh, excuse me, go to kingmagneal.com or download the app. Your first purchase on the app will get you 20% off. Again, that's the King Magneal Collection. Tell them first century. All right. <clears throat> y'all know I like to be thorough, okay? We know since I last talked to y'all, Coach Willie Simmons has moved on to Duke University. He accepted the running running backs coach position. I wish him well, okay? And uh, the last time I spoke to y'all in that segment, uh, my point in that segment was, with that man's resume, that man should have been able to go goddamn get a power five head coaching job. He's a damn good coach. He's done it all. He checked all the boxes, but because he doesn't have a complexion for the connection for the protection, he got to play the game, and I get it, okay? But the way he entered uh, FAMU particularly, not the swag, because he had other stops in the swag, okay? But the way he entered FAMU was different from how Prime entered FAMU. That 10 years there, at least on the surface level, seem to be different. Now, some of y'all real ones is down with the Rattlers. Okay, y'all can let us know otherwise if it's otherwise. Okay, y'all can let us know. And the way Willie exited was different. Okay, as the king right here, Daryl Smith, is letting you know, Willie left the right way. I'm down with you, Willie. I, I went and watched. I went and watched. Willie Simmons' introductory press conference is still out there on YouTube. I went and re-watched Deion Sanders' introductory press conference, all right? I went and watched the interview Willie Simmons did with HBCU game day, okay? And, of course, we know how Prime left, okay? So it's not the same as Sunday Boom C980 saying. It ain't the same. It ain't the same. But let's look at it. Okay, because sometimes you got to show folks. So let's look at it. this. Is, this is what I heard, and you can go hear yourself. It's on YouTube from when Willie Simmons first came to FAMU. Okay. He thanked God. Okay. Prime talked about God a lot as well. Willie Simmons thanked God. Okay. We ain't got no problem when your brothers being spiritual men, religious men. Okay. Willie Simmons is from Tallahassee, though. And so through that whole press conference, it came off that this motherfucker right here is of the community. Now, of course, Deion Sanders wasn't from Jacktown. And not saying that every coach got to be from Jackson or from Mississippi. I'm just showing y'all the differences. Willie Simmons, godmother, is a rattler. So in his introductory speech, he talked about how his godmother was going to be able to see her godson coach the Rattlers. Okay? His wife is a Rattler. 
And I want to say, and I left this part out of my note. I want to say he said she's like a fourth generation rattler or something like that. I don't know. So my again, so my real ones from fam, you y'all, y'all, you know, let the other real ones know about that. Okay. But he says his wife was a rattler or is a rattler. Okay. His grandmama, his grandmama sent seven of her nine kids to fam you. Okay? He said his grandmama is the pillar of, of the family, the backbone of his family, and that she sent seven of her nine kids to fam you. Why is that important? Because that frames that brother's mind differently about that institution. That brother got real ties to that institution. You know what I'm saying? And even with him moving on, his God mama still a rattler. If he love his God mama, he ain't finna be dissing them motherfuckers like that, man. His wife still a rattler. You know, so it's, it hit different. His grandmama, it hit different. In his introductory presser, he talked about his seven Fs, which is basically like he going... Uh, every single day, though, there were principles that went with every day, and it started with an F. Okay, stuff like family and uh, fast and oh shit like that. That's basically the gist of the presser. Let's move to Prime's presser. Okay, a lot of folks say, "Oh, who that? Kwame Brown? Kwame Brown say that the black folks, the white folks, got to roll out the red carpet for you." He right, we ain't roll out no goddamn red carpet for him. That motherfucker was blue. Shit. Or at least what I could see from the video that was blue padding where they had the seats at, okay? Whatever the case was, we brought that man in there like he was the king of Zamunda. Fuck these motherfuckers talking about we, we don't know how to treat folk, man. With the means that we had, we brought that man in that bitch like he, he was the king of Zamunda. King Joffrey Jofer. Okay? The boom was playing. They had a police escort. They drove the lack into the AAC. And then Prime said, I'm proud to stand before my people. Now, Willie was on some shit like, I'm home. Because he's from Tallahassee. But Prime made it about race. My people. Folks say we trip. He said that he believed that God led him to JSU, not man. Because man didn't believe he was coming. And then he went into his believe speech, okay? And that shit was magnificent because I told y'all before, Muhammad Ali sits over here by himself as the most charismatic athlete of all time. Some of these folks capping. Some of these folks were not there if they say it's prime. Muhammad Ali is over here by, him, by himself. But then you prime right there in that discussion. So his I believe speech was amazing. But outside of football, he, he he said some shit. He said he believed that they were going to increase enrollment. He said that shit. He said, I believe crime can cease. He said that. That was not shit that we said. I watched Willis introductory press conference. He didn't say shit about ending the crime in Tallahassee, Florida. And don't think shit sweet over there. I know folks try to act like Mississippi. Y'all motherfuckers. My brother Kiki, he loved the drill music out of Florida. Okay, he, he, <laughs> that boy there be listening to some different shit. Okay, it, 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 it's it's some crazy shit going on over there in Florida. There's some young kids that they going to grave sites and recording songs over their ops grave sites and shit. It's some shit going on over there. Will I ain't say the football team was gonna solve that. This motherfucker Prime was like, I believe crime can cease. This shit on YouTube, go watch it. He pledged to help the other programs. He pledged to help the other programs through recruiting and whatever else, okay? But then motherfuckers want to lose their mind and complain about money going to other programs, which is, that's, that's what the fuck happens with all these damn schools. Football funds these other non-revenue sports. 
Shador and Travis and Shiloh and all them boys out there are paying for the soccer team and the volleyball team in there. And that's why they deserve every goddamn dime that them boosters give them. They deserve it all. Oh, they need to be more careful with how they secure their chains and shit, but they deserve that money because they are increasing enrollment and paying for scholarships for all the mother motherfucking athletes that people don't go watch. That ain't just a Jackson State thing. That's it, motherfucking well. You know what I'm saying? So, like, 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 what the fuck we talking about then? He called Jackson the best kept secret. Okay. Now, of course, at the time that, that seems flattering. Okay. Seems flattering. You understand? But I'm just saying, in comparison to Willie, Tallahassee wasn't no secret to him. Fam, you wasn't no secret to him because he's from Tallahassee. You feel me? So the way they came in was different. Off top, you had a man who was of that community. Maybe he didn't go to fam you. But I'm telling you, the man wife did godmother, big, he said his godmother, biggest rattler fan he know. His grandmama sent seven of her nine children there. And he from Tallahassee. Whereas Prime didn't have those ties. But we were hoping, based on his rhetoric, that he was going to create those lifelong ties. Okay? Let's let's compare the exits. Let's compare the exits. Okay. In Willie's, I guess you could say exit interview with HBCU Game Day, he talked about he and his wife praying about his decision. Okay. So that's comparable to Brian. Uh, he admitted his goal is to be a power five head coach, though. Just be one on it. He admitted his goal is to be a power five head coach. That's why he's leaving. He thinks this move can help him achieve that. He said he's not. He's not leaving because of lack of resources, APR, or anything else. He's leaving because he wants to be a power five head coach one day. He knows this head coach at Duke. He thinks that maybe if I go be a, a, a position coach there, Keep doing what I'm doing. Maybe I can rise up and get there. That's, oh, that's just logical. That makes sense. Whereas when Prime Lee, who got the same ambition, who wanted the same exact thing, that's, he wanted to be a power five head coach. But with him leaving, it had to be the crime. It had to be we done stole this motherfucker's money. It had to be that folks were threatening him and, and Shadur and Shiloh. And it had to be that um, the, him and the administration didn't get along. Uh, that we didn't cut him in on the ticket sales. Like, come on, man. Let me see you something else. Are you right, Sonny Bone? Would have been so much more accepting. We would have championed who they these folks around the country acting like they were some Colorado fans. We, we, we would have fucked with them. We would have fucked with them. Motherfucker like me, I fuck with Don Staley. She ain't coaching no, she don't coach no HBCU. She in South Carolina. We just talked about South Carolina last week. That's the first state to secede from the union over slavery. But she a real one, though. We get it. You understand? Know we used to fuck with John Thompson at Georgetown. We get it. But not with this bullshit. Them fam, you both, they finna fuck with Willie. And I get it. You know what? Because Willie said he gonna be a booster. Willie told them folks to go ahead and send him the info, what I need to do to continue to support financially. Oh, I'm finna go be making this money, but I'm still gonna give. Man, that's real shit. When that man first came here, when Prime first came to Jackson, that's what I thought the plan was going to be. He going to stay two or three years. We going to fucking win. He going to go to the power five, but then he going to still show love to us because we gave him his shot first. You know what I'm talking about? So he going to throw us licks and help us with the business deals for real, for real still because he plugged in with the folks that got the money. And you know what I'm talking about? This, this shit going to be glorious. 
But then his rhetoric got us thinking, oh, no, no, fuck. He don't even want to do that shit no more. Them folks shunned him. And he said George, the, the shit with George Floyd made him feel like I need to jump in here and, and, and don't just talk about it, be about it. And, and, and this is this is bigger than just me. And this is, we got to get back to bringing our folks back here. He said all them things. Go watch the first 60 Minutes interview when the man in the red decked out. Go watch that. So his rhetoric and Willie Simmons' rhetoric, from my standpoint, from what I've seen, has been vastly different. Now, again, I cover Jackson State. Football, basketball, both basketball teams, okay? And anything else uh, of prominence, of importance to my people around here, okay? So I'm saying that to say I'm not up on all things rapping. My real ones who are. If y'all know Willie Simmons was over there saying that he was going to uh, uh, help crime in in Tallahassee and his, his mission was to make uh, uh, them guys come from Florida State and come to fam you and and uh my mission is deeper than football and my pledge like if he was making it like the civil rights movement let us know let us know okay but from what i've seen from watching willis simmons introductory press conference his ex uh his final interview with hbcu game day and covering Prime all this time, that shit is vastly different. And anybody who thinks otherwise is just on Prime's dick. And you need to jump off of it. Just like his ex did. Put it on some. Please subscribe to my daddy's YouTube channel because the more subscribers he gets, the more attractive he looks to sponsors. The more attractive he looks to sponsors, the more money he can make. And the more money he can make, the more money he can spend on me.